Something to watch here, Tom. The game is going live, and you can already see a little bit of a skirmish around middle of screen. Here, the B site. They're coming underneath the tube, rushing into the site where David P awaited them, but got shut down. The rotate of Ambi cut off, leaves Fatino as the only man who can really have impact here. The spike That's is spike. now down. It's on the floor in front of him. Chance. Then Tachi bring this back. He's already going to find himself onto the 4K, and it had to be screamed to put him down. But with already the slows being placed in to make things a little bit tougher for him, we are going to see this push coming through, but the spike actually hit the deck. But that gives the info over as well, right? Vodafone Giants now know that this is definitely an A play with the spike being so close. The blade storm on Yampi dealt with. He was so low, just the one bullet needed. A shot from Fatino not landing. Hoodie, though, is going absolutely massive in this round, leaving Solkus all alone. And, well, he's got to ace this out. The Spectre in hand. Also, he looks, looks like Scream right now, so there's a good possibility <laughs> that the one-tap ability is going to be his. As a matter of fact, to see, but luckily the round's going to get on the way, so we can quickly <laughs> move away from that one. Scream alongside Link have just double entried into the site, and now Fatidio is in a lot of trouble, already being picked apart as they dominate the entries into this A site. And while David P through the upper bracket, now they have the opportunity to beat Liquid yet again, and Fatino is starting it out well. Yampi drop. I love the three man stack up this site and go for those early aggressive duels with Meadow securing Tube. I think Team Liquid... So they might be able to pick this back, but they're actually not going to overface. Just looking to keep the man advantage they already have. Well, that doesn't last too long. Spike Link will at least fall for Fatidio, but he's not quick enough to correct his aim. Yumpy floating in from above and leaving just two standing. Planted. David P sat there like, hey guys, should we save again? <laughs> but it's a 2v3 this time. It's definitely manageable. With Meadow getting himself healed up to 100, they're going to go for this, but they need a pick quickly. And that operator is holding for Meadow coming out of the door. He steps to the right. He is most definitely dead. And he's now being spotted. But that gives the opportunity for David P to catch Yampi off guard. A second goes his way. Now all he has to do is deal with Scream. He's being revealed up on the ropes. But the headshot is delivered. And David P gets it done. Avoiding that A weakness. And it looks like they're not convinced that that timeout will have done a lot for Vodafone Giants in fixing it. That bait was huge. Going up the rope. And then having a player behind to follow, that's absolutely oh, that's insane. So Yampi even takes down Fatino afterwards. And Tom, maybe Liquid were right. That pause hasn't done them any good. Doing, They're just winning a lot of these battles, and it's not going to get any better. They finally decided to head in towards this B site. And while, obviously, there's only going to be one defender here, because why would you be putting more players here after however many rounds in a row going in the other direction? Now, wise move as well, up against uh, pistols to move to B. Because that long range classic. fights, you're not going to lose long range fights. The pistols are you, Tom? Well, they are. And they've already lost a few. Now things get a little bit scary because this weapons retreat. Meadow not able to do anything with it. Down goes Ambi and Fatino's last alive. Dashing up behind them, but they're ready. And oh my oh! god, Fatino's got both. The blade storms online and it's a 1v1. I haven't even planted. This is definitely winnable inside of that Viper's Pit. Well, he can just right-click you up close anyways. In fact, Patino's probably happy to have that, considering how low his HP was in the first place. Solkus moving around the back. Oh! oh the shots aren't going to land, but somehow he's still alive. Six HP. Phantom picked up, but it's not enough. I love that video so much. Oh, Scream with the opening. Solkus follows up. Oh, no. It's not, it's the fire that round. is, They're that is not... Already. Not how you want your mid push to go. As well, they've lost Meadow. They cannot defend it. That's no. been proven. Oh, Ambi, watch your back, bro. That's really as it disengages. And so all he sees is just oh, instantly nice. there's nothing there. Great push by David P shooting Yampi. That's the A site control pretty much guaranteed at this point. And now Team Liquid need an answer. This is the first time in the final round of the half we're actually seeing them need a plan B. Oh. Oh, nice. dodging and weaving, but it's not gone too well. They've got to try something. Ten seconds left. Oh, that snake bite lands right on Honey's feet. It's like a heat-seeking missile. Petito, good for one. Now they've no idea about back yellow, but Meadow almost whiffs it. Leaving Link alone. A one versus four. A res online, but hey, he's not going to have a chance to use that. What? He had no idea where Fatino was. That was an awkward duel. But in the end, it is going to go to vote of the side pistol beat. and then win anyway. Exactly. That's, that's, that's what I want to see from The alpha play. Yeah. David's got one. Okay, the push is shut down, but is he ready for a mid play? Yes, he is. The 
pistol out for another. Now they looks like they're still going A. Two uh, B's open right, now. Dave is just solo killing everyone. Down for photo fun giants. Look at where he is. Oh no! Uh, Wake up! Yeah, I was about to say he's incredibly low, so for him to maybe retrieve, but he needs to try and find a way back into this round. He's also out of abilities. So it's just gonna have to come down to the headshots. First, we'll go his way. We've had some close pistols. They're just lined up. They're trying to firing squad these players and prompt over peaks out of Vodafone Giants. There was the first. Spike already half defused. Good shot by Fatino. Just seems to be so clean when he's using. They have pretty much fully invested into this round. Oh, Judge. Up close is always a scary thing. They're, oh, that's so such a... Or a setup for early retakes. They won't be able to deny that plant. They're going to need to try and take a little bit of space here. The problem is, again, they don't have much utility that's going to be able to force players out. They can go for the same sort of strat with the wall. And they also have the shock darts to try and chip them down a little bit. And that seems to be the plan. Just basically sit back and just try and defuse it. They're sticking it all the way this time. And there is nothing that the Giants could do about it. The round already over. And Ambi, at least trying to hold on to a... He's firing away some shock darts. Gonna light these players up. Doesn't look like he's finding all too much. And as they come through the choke point, it's being mowed down. Vodafone Giants, 2v4. Meadow, good kill on the backside. Okay, this opens up some opportunities they have a wall at the moment and they're about to have the res online they go oh metal right through that is huge because ambi's back online now they're able to get the plan safely and even with links frankie has to come through the viper's pit if they're playing inside it but ones up close they're stepping around it looks like they have absolutely no idea that link can be on the flank already the timing is huge for link who's catching the planter immediately and falling right on back the slow down on the floor just to Make it that little bit more difficult for Vodafone Giants to get that spike retrieved. And oh, Solkus oh. from the top rope drops down and takes a double. Blade Storm online can be so dangerous. And there's the first with Meadow down. He goes up for more. He will be shut out of that. <laughs> Quick shot by Ambi. That was a headshot with a sheriff. Yeah. You'll love That'll to see it. it. He's going clay pigeon shooting. Oh, Cryptix is going to try to play around this drone. Does it perfectly. And just falling back afterwards. Teammates coming in to support. I mean, Vodafone Giants need a way in, and that wall is going to make it so much more difficult. You lose an HP as you go through. Can't really fight this together, and David P is taken down, down up above. A. The chances are starting to really fade away. Oh, the recon! It doesn't get any burst off though. That would have been the end of the round if it did. And Link is on the not flank again. again. They are not aware. They're completely oh, unprepared. Really for this kind of a play. And so Hoodie as a 1v4 to win out versus all ultimates. And then, yeah, that was for Team Liquid now, with the exception of Blightstorm used in the previous round. So I don't know how I'm feeling about Vodafone Giants' chances of seven consecutive. Operator, because he didn't even need to buy into the previous already. We're going to see the... Oh, oh my God. He just got two at the... Oh, this is done. Let's just At 12-5. <laughs> yeah, at 12 to 5, this is this is not the start the to the round that Vodafone well. Giants wanted. Gets both kills. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think at this point they're definitely looking to map two. <laughs> this is not somewhere that Vodafone Giants are immensely comfortable. We knew that. And I think it's important for the people out there, for the chat, for y'all viewers to know, like, if you're not too in tune with Vodafone Giants, this is a map we expected them to lose. We know that this Team Liquid is solid lost. here. Indeed, yeah. yeah. They've lost one map and it's been this. I will say... I don't know. The thing I will say is that Liquid came into this as an unknown because they just don't really play Icebox at all. I think this is mm -hmm. the first time they've actually played it in this stage of challenges. So yep. you don't really know what you're coming up against. Also starting on the attacking side, like ahead. that that's a rough one. It's not been a bad map other than that for Giants, but yeah, I, I think their defensive side definitely needs a little bit of work. Now it's a two on four. It's been a quiet game so far for Hoodie, but maybe a chance. <laughs> Never mind. The Yumpy operator has been unbelievable throughout this map and he will have to say i like a lot now this is a very different strategy to what we see from pretty much any other teams and it's working they've already overrun the a site wine is not clear yampi hiding in the back lines but it's being checked as we speak and meadow even wins that duel a two-man advantage for vodafone giants and team liquid having a tough time getting back in here to retake they have a paranoia still online for link who's just been spotted over on short and so isn't able to help his teammates out in time 
this is pretty tough, Tom. I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I'd be very surprised, and unless there's some slip-ups coming through. Ooh. Nice shot from Link, though, but if he doesn't just die to the spike. Yeah, he's going to dive into that, of course, from originally all different teams coming together. And wow. <laughs> Potential in that for Yampi. Scream's going out wide. Oh, my God. He's got a kill as well. This is getting scary. It should be a, an eco for Liquid. It is, but they're still doing damage, taking heads. And they've got the advantage, Tom. And yeah, the one small downside from the time waited is Scream doesn't have the overheal anymore. It has decayed off. But he's going to be taking contact very early on and even winning that duel. Ambi with a huge whiff. It leaves Huddy to 1v3 this. Giants should have had an easy conversion here, but now it's left into the clutch scenario. Huddy holding for the walkout on short, oh. and he won't get them all. Uh, was it 2-0 was or 2-1? Oh. Anyways. Oh, how does he win that? The uh, the thing is, Liquid here they can they can allow some of the players who've had ideas like I really want to try this. Yeah, try it now. This is the time to do it. If it works, great. You get to test it in an official. That dash into sight, giving a lot of space to Vodafone Giants. They have a player down below, two coming in, and Scream is catching the flank, but losing players as they go. Still the man advantage for Vodafone. Plant in and sight secured. This is still very much winnable. It's a round that I think Vodafone Giants are going to be desperate to take. They're actually going to lock themselves away underneath. Now, this is the Empress pot. That means that he can dismiss, heal as many times as he likes. The heal automatic as well, and they line up for Cryptics. He tries to bait them in. It's into the 1v1 for Fatinho. They've already got it to half, but he'll land the ins. Nonetheless, they forced initially Yumpy off the angle, but now he gets a second opportunity from the back of the site, taking a hell of a lot of damage. He's going to deny the ultimate TP. It lets them know where he is, and for a second, I thought he was going to hit a double there. Instead, though, isolated, forced off the back of the site, and the rotation's coming seconds. through. And locked down in effect right now. Oh, that push down on mid does not work well for Yampi. He is out of the game. Link caught in the open, but still gets away with two. The paranoia not able to be deployed, and the res will put the numbers back in Vodafone Giant's favor. But in comes the Hunter's Fury to try and counter it. But, it's but putting it in a place where they won't destroy it, it's going to be really tough. All well, Cryptix is down immediately. There will be no lockdown used up in this round. Vodafone Giants overrunning the A site and getting their plant in. Now spotted that turret. They know that Killjoy is here and they're walking out onto the site. The alarm bot down inside of the alleyway has a nano swarm right behind it, but Cryptix is going to need to use that now and block them from pushing him down. The ulti for the rotate to come in. Now he's at least got some help with Link on the back side with him, but Link falls quickly, as does Cryptix. And Vodafone Giants are just looking unstoppable. Altino's really up in the pace on this. And the push into the B site. They've already got the opening kill, Tom. It feels like the round hasn't even started. Solkus, luckily, able to spam one down through the smoke. The shock darts not quite finding their targets as Vodafone Giants breach the site. The plant will be found. And, oh, but he okay. goes down as well. He was kind of close to res. Now, if he got the plant, then he's only two away. But with him down and out, this is going to be much more of a raw round for Vodafone Giants. Definitely the biggest challenge that they face so far. They get the site. They lose players on the way. David P lurking in towards main is smoked off. And with an operator going through that, isn't exactly an option. Now, oh, as he smokes okay. off market, Fatino catches one. And now the push out is going to be so difficult for Team Liquid. They need this flank to work out from Link. But he's already been spotted. Now he's being held down. The frenzy out for David P. Not even using that operator on the behind peak. And Scream's got it all to do. And David will quit. I, I don't know how they come back from that and make it look so easy and again every single piece of aggression that liquid is going for is being punished within seconds and around like this it's not really the biggest of deals because of what's invested nice shot at least oh, from like no way he deserved to get two there that's unreal and scream actually ducks back in and manages to dismiss out of there close to the door lockdown comes into effect this is where the res is going to be popped up but they're already swinging him wide and the kill is found hoodie is down leaving it all onto fatino he's got to make a move quickly about to be locked out as he moves to the back, this is where they start the defuse, forcing him forward. He's got to take the peak immediately. It's halfway already. Nice Ooh. shot. And he's quickly out of there. The dash not online, oh. but he doesn't need it. I really 
Oh, well, I can't make that point now because Link's about to take a fight. He's swinging aggressively, about to go into the Hunter's Fury and get tagged up. That's such an unfortunate shadow step. Putting it into a 4v4 and up above, oh, no. David P's TP'd into their spawn and taken out. Yampy, good shot by Scream, but he won't survive much longer. Liquid with a huge disadvantage, so and it is just crumbling. And make it difficult for them to do anything. This is it. Yeah, you're done, Cryptics. Seem to be so ready for anything their opponents are going to do. David P. Oh, he went out for a cheeky peek. Actually still manages to get a decent trade off there. And wow, okay, this pistol is looking very, very good for Liquid. Yeah, fantastic start. It does almost feel like a consolation prize winning out this one. Now they're so far behind, it has to be an incredible half for them to really get back in here. And they have to also not lose this to a clutch from Ambi. He's already got three, Tom. 47 HP, though. And the flank gets him in the end. Whew. I wonder if they'll just fight into him here. I don't know if he actually spotted the head. I think he did, but he takes the peek and through maybe a little bit wary of players still being in main and uh, the tag up, but it's going to be Ambi to connect the instant shot. This gives some time for the rotation to come in. And if you look at David, he's now coming in from behind, but it might not even matter. Ambi's just hitting every single head that's put into his path. He has support from his teammate, but both fall within a matter of seconds, leaving this in a two versus two spike planted not a bunch to play with for team liquid the nano swarms activated immediately link inside of his own smoke oh the shots see the steps are heard cryptics knows they're coming from the alleyway and he's even isolated the first duel hasn't got any nano swarms on the spike though and it's being diffused already halfway. Don't it's time it. to move. Cryptics goes around wide, sees he's not on it. There's the turret giving the information, and he's going to just try and play ring a ring a rosy. Run the clock down as turret's giving him all the info he needs to evade him and eventually finish Meadow off. Too long. But they're still just trying to make sure that they're not facing into that operator. David P, I was going to say, gets caught pushing up mid, but instead, it's actually his teammate to save him. It's Ambi again. But Tino's caught them, trying to move through into heaven. But the deep control lost, they can still get a plant. It won't be the end of the world. Out. But for Team Liquid, you have to look at it, at what they're up against. A Hunter's Fury online for Ambi now, he still has his drone. So if they need that, I mean, uh, the Hunter's Fury is probably not even needed here. It's just going to be the drone to go through and clear the angle. Surely no. In fact, they're going in dry, and Yampi's able to catch the first to dash away. And it doesn't save his life, but it does buy time. Team Liquid are running the clock down as best as they can. Hunter's Fury is going to be activated, and it finds very little to nothing. Solkus even goes through the smoke to take Hoodie down. This is starting to fall apart. Vodafone Giants had the advantage, but now the time is really running out, and so are their numbers. It's all on to Ambi in a 1v2. Oh, this has become a devastating round so quickly it's gone the vodafone giants were looking for now they're left on the pistols yet again in a pretty tough situation the blade storm tries to bridge the gap but link of course is behind them yet again they're wondering just yeah. how david p took to the corner hasn't been spotted but i think his barrel just stuck around so screen could take him down and this is well it's not looking that clean is it nice shot by meadow but it'll only be the one and so Hoodie has to clutch it, but hey, no better man on this roster. He's had a phenomenal first half. Managed to evade that blind as well. Oh no, they have no idea where he is, and Hoodie gets it! Both kills going his way! And Team Liquid, Get out of my way. they're behind, but they're looking for a five-man push right into Fatino. This could be dangerous. The shoulder peak doesn't get a shot out of him, because he's way too deep. Like, he's up against the wall. No one ever plays from there. It's completely unexpected. And as the wall goes up now, Vodafone Giants are trying to lock them out, but Yampi has other ideas going right into the site, but he doesn't even get a kill. Only damage onto David P. Giants are rolling over them, even a sheriff from Hoodie coming out. Leave him. They're challenging challenging the duels. The hell? Oh, Yampi's playing quite aggressive on that. Well, it's not going to pay off. Numbers equalized. Vodafone Giants have a res to make that even better. David P back online. Of course, he's got a wonderful ultimate online, Tom. Yes. It could actually be quite he, impactful. He might be able to go on the flank. That's something that we see quite often. Be I think he had his paranoia in play, so it gives him an opportunity to try and flash through. Luckily, though, Scream is on the other side. Trades back and forth as Vitinho manages just one kill, and Ambi's just going to go peeking in, but Link is just landing every shot handed to him. It's left all onto Vitinho, and this time there's nothing to be had. And then the final round, if they lose this, it actually ends up kind of kind of equalized. Like, 
Vodafone Giants will have a pretty poor economy. They'll probably have to play with your judges. Rotating and allowing Yampi to sell a little bit of a fake. And, and it's really selling it because of this aggressive push. David P goes down and the whole rest of the team had shifted towards the B site. It's only Meadow remaining on A. He has a cam up, but I mean, it's not going to be much use all by himself unless he at least gets smoked out and then can really use that ping. Team Liquid have so many options, so many doors open to them now. They know that it's a very, a very shallow play on the B side. So going into A is kind of risky, but they're going to TP right to the back side, and Link gets taken down. Meadow's able to peek in for free. No one's watching it. That's a disaster. Liquid now losing another player, but they know there's one down below. They know that they can get Meadow, but they can't. They're running into him, and he's winning the duels. There's only 10 seconds left. The spike has to be retrieved and planted, and that means Meadow has to die, but he's still alive, and he single-handedly won the round for Vodafone. John, am I the only one that wants uh, Breach back on screen? I love those days. Those were fun days, but hey, on the Reina, I can't really complain, can I? Nice shot by Hoodie. This retake from Vodafone Giants well, it actually doesn't start out that well as Hoodie goes down over on that left side peak, giving a heal up to Scream, who's now got that little bit of extra armor on the overheal. Blitzing in from mid, the wall goes up, and Scream takes another head, even catching David P in the corner, who's going to be taken down. A phenomenal round. It'll have to be quite a late round play because they're grouped up right now looking to push straight through the choke point the flash comes in another leer up high and no angles really safe to peak until a little bit later and that's when fatino and david p strike on that back site a kill or two each leaving link all by himself that lurk through tube not going to be working out this time around let's see now has to retake the site essentially with a specter good duel on the first but now they just hold range. And with the spike down, he has no choice but to go forward. And there he goes. Open to maybe. With the operator waiting for the rotate from the B side so they can catch a player off. This is why they're delaying like this. Constantly opening the door, trying to cause a distraction. And the B players are eventually on their way. This is where Yampi gets the opportunity to strike and take a free kill. And it's Ambi that falls. They've now cut the... The side in two is at the map in two, essentially. And I thought they would go back to B, but instead, they keep running at the A site. David P is still in position, though, and he's causing a lot of time to run off that clock. But Solkus takes him down. Okay, that was what we were waiting for. With that kill, I think he can see him. Meadow, if Meadow had a wide swing there, he might have been able to stop that plan. But instead, he drops it again and again over an icebox. The rinse and repeat was there almost every single time. But shut down onto Fatino, the player with the blade storm activated, gets nothing done. In fact, the entirety of Vodafone Giant there, uh, very reasonably, had Liquid have started on the other side, it might have been the comeback from Giants, you know, from far behind that won them the map. So, game, he could have been spammed down instantly. In fact, Meadow is the one to receive a couple of bullets. As Hoodie falls, Meadow on 20 HP backside is now under threat. Excuse manages me. the first, but he's gone. <laughs> there can be a plant now secured. Oh my god, Cryptix has got another. It's Fatino having to clutch this out. How has it spiraled out of control like this? A Viper's Pit almost completely counters that operator from getting back into the site. And Link is going on an incredibly long flank, making his way through the spawn. Oh, Tom, this is this is really devastating for Vodafone Giants. And they might even lose that operator in the end. We're 7-1 to one up as we rejoin the game. Team Liquid have been dominant, even in rounds that start well for Vodafone Giants. Much like this one. David P shuts down Yampi's aggressive play through middle. Link is trying to get his way in here and help the team out, but David is just firing on all cylinders. ...did by Liquid, and they've got this spot on. It would take some incredible shots on them. This is going to be a really hard hold. Yeah, it's a tough one for sure. Cryptic's falling. It's looking done. Scream's got to ace clutch this. The first one's there, but that is it. And the second round for Vodafone Giants at long last. Perhaps they're happy about it. He's out. He is dead 100% of the time. And there it is. He's tagged up, and he doesn't get killed initially, but Fatino is there to take him down. The problem is, that grants the trade, and now Meadow needs a huge play lurking inside the cage, but oh, they've even no. detected him taking him hey. down. <laughs> and putting Team Liquid into the advantageous spot with the spike planted. And the worst part is, Solkus is only now starting to come out. The flash was perfect for Screen to take down Ambi. And then they just closed the door behind them. This is gorgeous play oh, by Team Liquid no. to leave David P. I'm going to see a straight up A hit. Well, there's going to be a bit of an adaptation from Vodafone Giants playing more aggressive, unfortunately. actually going to check. If Meadow clears this, 
Oh, I was gonna say the genius, but oh no. <sighs> yeah, it's not pretty, is it? Bambi trying to hunt him down, but he gets shot because he is being very, very conscious as the site gets hit. Oh no, David P swings at just the wrong moment. So Link gets dropped. But Patino goes down. Numbers evened up. Liquid potentially pushing to double digits at the halftime. It would be a ridiculous half if they managed that. And three players are now spotted inside of Halls. David P in with another from the operator. He's getting involved in the action at last, Tom. Finding those opportunities, but Solkus is about to make that sky play. The aggressive flash, and oh, oh. no, so much damage done. But he doesn't manage to get the third. This round stays close, and in fact, a Viper's Pit on the other side is going to be pushed through. Meadow, the last remaining player, gets dropped on <laughs> by Yampi with a shorty. What? Problem, right? Like, you can sit there and tell me that you've got a better attack or they've got a better defense, whatever it is, but pistols are often random. They're often coin flips. You don't want to be relying on the entire map being a coin flip and having to make a reverse sweep in the series. Team Liquid, man disadvantage though. Things are starting out well for Vodafone Giants. And that's even better with Scream shut down and a little flank play by David P. But numbers are equalized yet again. Solkus still online with a flash to play with. It definitely helped them in pushing into the site. Team Liquid with plenty of time on the clock. I mean, they can run this one down. They just got to play it together. But they're actually going to split up a little bit, and Solkus is having a tough time. The right click finishes him off, and an attempted sneaky play by Cryptic's detected, but now he's close. One headshot would finish this one off and put Liquid in an eye on impossible to lose situation, and he gets it across the line. The defuse? No, there's no time. Some of the information. And there it goes. Ow. Oh, Yumpy. Oh, he's pushing into the whole team. He needs to at least get one here, otherwise it's not worth it. And well, even still, that's going to be an upgrade, potentially, for Fatinia. But he's actually got to get out of there, because he's somewhat stuck. Never mind. Hoodie's oh. just going to come through and hit two instead. I mean, look at Solkus's push. It's already... Oh, Meadow's ready for it. What a shot, man. They had zero information and still get away with that. Team Liquid going to be devastated by losing a player that early on. They do still have Link, though, ready to push on an off timing. But with Yampi fall, uh, falling, this side is under heavy threat. And there's two players stuck there, not able to find a single tag. Zero damage from Team Liquid. He dashes up behind, but it's not enough. The classic out. And he shuts it. But he... Oh, that was such good, like a little bait and switch. You've got one spamming through the door, then screen swings wide. The plant coming in over on the B side, and it will be secured. They're going to look to try and knock Link out of position, but he's already on him. Just evading detection, jumping up on the side. I guess they thought he would try and deny the plant in the first place, and the patience pays off with another kill for Link. It's all on to Ambi. He's coming into the window now. He spots him and gets the kill. Okay, it's a 1v1, and Scream is spotted coming up through elbow. He's actually bunny hopping on the site and seeing the hallway. <sighs> oh, that timing is going to be terrible. Spike down A. But well, that's all the information they needed. 45 seconds left. Spike going to be dropped. And while well, Yumpy in with an opportunity here. He's going to get spotted out by the cam. But I don't think he minds too much. He's going to try and get that little bit more aggressive. The problem now, though, oh is that they've got to be careful of that flank. Link, he might be about to fall victim to his own trap. As what they did was basically re-aggress through. And now looking to try and face this one together. David P might be in the prime spot. They're actually watching the elevated angle. But here comes the perfect... Flank from both players, peaking at the same time. And Roy, very quickly indeed. Still, the information says that the site is clear, so they get that plant down. Now as well, David P's got his ulti online. And I can't help but feel like we're about to have a Viper's Pit on that site to secure the round. The vote, it hasn't come through just yet. And Vodafone Giants buying their time and actually they're going to play more of a dedicated post plant on this one obviously avoiding giving the pistols the chance to fight inside a viper's pit a wise choice and one that might pay off if they stop losing players 
As those Seekers go out, they start to reveal people, no. and shots are landing left, right, and center. David P is the last man alive. He's blinded up, and he can't even get out. The defuse coming in puts Liquid on 11. Important David P might just catch him. In fact, David has been heard coming up behind. He's made it around the corner. No one spotted him, but he thought he was seen, so he fires away a little bit too early. Solkus now surrounded, has to find the first to David and push forward. The flash blinds Jet, but there it is from Fatino. The blade storm emerges from the smoke and secures the flank. Now Liquid have a two versus four, and even though a lot of these players are low, it's going to be difficult to isolate those fights and take full advantage of that damage. Getting across to these players is going to be the tougher task, especially with Fatinio posted up on the angle. The first one is for free, straight into the blade. Storm and Meadow is there to close it. On through, that angle is so perfect for the judge. We rarely see it, and David P will fall oh, as well no. as Hoodie. A beautiful double opening to put the advantage in a Team Liquid's favor. Now, although they lose Sulcus in the end, and therefore a little bit of the control, and that's a shame. Screen can't really afford to play through that cage after being spotted like that. Oh, Yampy. He saw Fatino. I don't know if the feeling was mutual, and indeed it wasn't. Fatino's down. Out with a wide swing. Yampi's still going, and the dash is online. That means an thing. But they get two rounds out of three. Two rounds out of three, indeed. Yeah, they're finding the solution at long. Uh, left click to... What if you're playing a different agent? No, now no, all of a sudden no, you're no, like putting me, the cam out me. every time you shoot. <laughs> It'll work, it works. Genius. They'll be so confused, you'll never they'll never understand what's going on. <laughs> After plant again though. This is something that has now become the norm, attempting these retakes rather than fighting for a lot of initial control. An early trade, and actually it's a Hunter's Fury pop, but this could be trouble for Ambi. He is dead here. Scream just wraps around the corner, even waiting just in case he wants to dismiss. Instead, we'll take the heal. Yumpy has found another one looking to try and close this, and he has. It's a decent retake. The time ticking fairly far gone, but they will have this one comfortably in the end, as it has always been very aggressive. It definitely has. Speaking of aggression, we've got the man himself, Hoodie, on the screen. Ambi supporting him and ready to take some fights. In fact, three of them inside. It's going to be an even duel, but one that goes Liquid's way. Solkus is dominating with the Frenzy in hand, but he's got a player behind him. And Lee does not know. David P swapping out the weapon, but not able to get it done. The 1v1 scream. Oh, he's on 12 HP. He's so low. It's time to get out of there and pop that heal. In fact, all the way into the teleporter. I thought... He's sticking around. He's actually going to go for this plan, fully committing to it, getting it all the way, and knowing this player has to come from Lamps. The steps are the shots not landing. Meadow. That means they have to take a lot of ranged duels, but they're holding close on long. Having pushed all the way down, Solkus probably won't expect this. And indeed, he gets caught off guard. Two kills quickly spin things in a Photophone Giant's favor, although they can't hold on to it for very long. Getting out here, Scream left. needs to be careful. There's another player coming in through the spawn. He's got him through the wall. He's on one HP, but still manages to get three. Now, Orbital Strike online for David P, and it looks like he's going to activate oh, it. Going to expend it right now, stopping the plant. But the time was too... Oh, sorry, it wasn't too far gone. It was 50. So curious, because chances are that's going to be one of the spots that's missed. But, oh well. It, it's gone now, it definitely, you know, as said at the beginning of the map, it's one of the most impactful ones, and Link is not far away from it. We've also got the res and the Showstopper. You will not kill us. Well, uh, the Showstopper's having a bit of trouble finding a target. Everyone's dead as they rush, rush into the side, and oh, David P. That was not the cleanest Fight of fights, play. and after... Uh... <laughs> Well, well, they three used to the two. showstopper to almost slow them down, but th the fact is, mm -hmm. there was enough time on the clock that Liquid have just waited. It has, however, pulled in the oh. rotation, but there, oh, the Molotov in combination with it, but somehow, he manages to get out of there. It's decent trades, but ultimately, it still comes up well for the Giants. Uh, you're kicking yourself when that happens, going up on the wall and it gets broken, a pixel being the biggest enemy, and now you don't have the orbital strike to deal with yeah. this, so someone's got to push it. Ten There's 10 left. seconds left. It's time to plant. They've got to commit to it, and it looks like Yampi's going to get detained for this. He hasn't got the dash to get out of there, and yeah, he is he is in trouble. He is stuck. I don't know what that double up drop was about. And they have got a... Uh, oh, they're three men stuck in the A side for early bathroom control, but Team Liquid seem to be quickly moving it in towards B, already taking down Fatino, and Yampi, although he's tagged up, he's still good to... Oh, I was going to say good to entry, but in fact, it's Solkus that dives through, and even with Yampi falling, this is a big plus. Team Liquid... 
That was a big plus for Team Liquid. Yeah, it didn't last very long. Soulcast has fallen. He's definitely looking good when it comes to his raised players. It's been said. It's been a long time since we've seen it. Now, David P's position is definitely low. The Molotov actually hasn't cleared him properly. And more just a, a second of patience would have actually given him that information. Right. We are going to see a push coming through. One Meadow remaining. using the turret, but he takes a headshot straight from Scream and Ambi so low, there's not really any chance for him to win this clutch out. Just escaping would be an utter miracle here. It seems like without those ultimates in play, the triple ult spam of the last round giving them the round, they're struggling a little bit here as Soulcast has basically won this one for them. And Ambi should just about be able to... A 3 out. HP! 3 HP as he gets out of there. Meadow pretty much on equal territory, but the nade finishes Solkas off. Patino boosted up and ready to go. Trying to deal the damage up close. Yampi's holding for him, though. Ready for this walkout. And as they get the plant, he's going to start to back off, clear their back, make sure there's no flanking maneuvers coming in. But it's the blast pack from Fatino as he swings wide to catch the angle onto Scream that doesn't quite pan out the way that he hoped. Scream with a quick shot, and he's not going to finish it off. It's job, so he can just patiently wait. That is a little bit different, though. I'm not sure how he gets away with that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think David P just went to put a smoke down the second that he got peaked. Sulk is pushing up to be a little bit careful here. <laughs> Showstopper not finding anything on paper, oh. but it does open up a lot of space for them to push on site. Meadow, good shot to start it. As Yampi goes down, the trade is quick, but Vodafone Giants, they're still in it. The Seekers are going to reveal these positions three towards Lamps. That's a whole lot of info as they start to close in the distance. That Molly not quite landing. They might now think that's a fake. They have no idea. They think the spike is Molly. That's a big mistake, but it only gets halfway. Solkus keeping them alive. The nade goes in, and it lands back on Solkus, but it's just enough to push. Any of these comps will survive going forward phone giants they are going to get so much value out of this ambi gets the first he'll probably die to this but now there's no way they expect patino to be here so it's an easy trade out and now they jump out of hookah to try and deal with the judge but they run into hoodie uh, solkas though seems to be saving the day there's 10, 10 seconds left. left he needs to go now oh, and get no, on the he's side he's not picked up the spike oh he's lost it He's lost oh. it off that alone. The round could spiral into their favor so quickly, and Dave's going to be pushed out of position straight away. Now they can get out easily. Yeah, they're going to try and clear a lot of these angles by sectioning off a position with the wall. Oh, this could be perfect. There's not a lot of time left for them to actually do anything about this. We're also seeing the Hunter's Fury sent through to try and deny the plant, but they are going to switch up their positions. Clearing Meadow there was so integral for having a chance to win this round, but they do it well. And he and the Killjoy holding down, a, eh? And that is a very quick pick. Fatino thought he beat the timing there, but apparently they were ready. They're going to section off the orb. And get themselves a kill freak and then try and help out Yumpy a little bit. This might just be handing the round away though. Scream will at least come back in with one. It's an awkward fight. Oh, Scream even on this. Yeah, there, there is no way. <gasps> the timing's actually not that great. So they're ready to take the duel. The bait's in. But again, they have literally no idea where Link is. This is the freest round of his life. How does this guy always end up behind the opponents? It, it's unbelievable. Titan. They'll have this one for free. They're also going to take control of Elbow, making this retake ever more difficult. Now, they haven't cleared out Lamps because, of course, there's always one man there and two kills in quickly for Solkaz. I'm not even sure how. Now, Link comes in with a flank as well. This turns down to just two players remaining. Ooh. And Hoodie almost manages to get one as he pushes out to the side. Both players have their back turned, but Solkaz spins. On back and leave the remaining two players here. You've also got the operator patiently waiting, but it forces him to take a shot at least. Yampi running about with his knife out has not had a good time on that one. And they have no idea. Oh, that's so sneaky. He even connected a shot on the meadow there. The spray not good though. Showstopper. Maybe now is the time to use it. And yes, it is. Up and over, but it's a trade. A quick. Yampi is so. I don't think he's got this. This is going to be really tough. Meadow just needs to run the clock down. He knows the player's on it. There's the judge spotted. Easy. That orbital strike doesn't quite get the value that you would hope. 
Yampi, nice connection and more possibly with Ambi down to 14 HP. Scream wants to swing wide and take the fights and that he does, winning them as he goes. Two players remaining on the other side make that one meadow. Has to clutch it out yet again. A 1v4 and the first goes his way. No heals possible for him. Spike way back in the spawn. He needs to take these duels and that's a good double swing. Grand final here in Challengers 2. Yeah, the deadly duo leading the way, but we're now going to... they have lockdown. As soon as they get control... Oh my god, he's in the smoke! <laughs> Link taking the fight to them. Now, Cryptic's down below could be in trouble. This is where the lockdown will probably come into play, but these guys are being lit up oh! and through the wall. Meadow goes down. Another spread. You can't help but feel like it was a little...